decades-old method of vacationing in someone else's abode while they stay in yours is nothing new. Home swapping is economical, practical, and fun. Home swaps are more common than you think. There are no contracts or documents to sign. It is simply an agreement between two families to swap homes for a period of time. The basic home swap is between two families who stay in each other's homes over the same dates. This period of time can be a weekend, a week, a month, a year, or any time period of which you both agree to. Home swaps can occur between families in two different countries, two states, two cities, or even the same city. Typically all arrangements about the swap are made a few months in advance between the two swapping families. A home swap provides for a cheaper travel experience since money is not spent on lodging. Travel expenses are further reduced because meals can be prepared and eaten in your new home from food you buy in local areas. There is the convenience of laundry facilities in your home, as well as creature comforts like a living room, TV, computer access, maybe even kids' toys and possibly even a pool or bicycles. In addition, your swap family can direct you to the best, local, greatest places in the area where you are staying. They can leave you a list of sites, restaurants, and activities in their area that your family may enjoy. They may leave contact information to their friends or their neighbor, who can be your local contact for any questions about the area. And of course, you can call your exchange family who is living in your home at the same time with questions at any time. You will live like a local the day you arrive in your new home. There's more than one way to do a home swap. The three main types of home exchange are, you stay in your exchange partner's home while they stay in yours, which is, happens simultaneously and is called a simultaneous exchange. You stay at a home swapper's second home or vacation home, a non-simultaneous exchange, while they stay in your home. Or you can stay at a guest as a guest in a swapper's abode while they remain in their house, which is called a hospitality exchange. Home exchange websites. Initial contact between two families for a home swap starts with a home exchange website. The basic setup involves joining the website, filling out online information describing your home and its location, then uploading some photos of your home and your area. Then the fun begins. You can search locales all over the world for possible home exchange partners. Once you've identified an area where you would like to visit, you then send an email through the website offering to exchange. Some home exchange websites offer over 50,000 home listings all over the world. Home swapping is not for absolutely everyone. How do you feel about allowing folks you've never met in person into your home? Arranging a swap through a reputable home exchange program is very safe, but it's important to assess your own comfort level before you jump into the situation head first. How do you know if you'll be okay with a home swap? Ask yourself if you can bear to have a very nice stranger sleeping in your bed, eating in your kitchen. If it's a dish or a door is broken, will it be the end of the world for you? It boils down to allowing a new friend to live in your home. To minimize your concerns, remember that prior to the exchange, there should be an extensive discussions about the swap, about what should be used, what should not be used, and who will be living in your home. Home swapping tips. First, be absolutely clear about your expectations. One of the best ways to alleviate first time home swapping jitters is to get to know your exchange partners really well before the exchange. Likewise, before you make the swap, consider all the necessary details that may arise during the process and talk to your exchange family by telephone or video chat in advance many times. Will you leave food for your guests when they arrive? Will you hire a cleaning service when you leave or clean the home yourself? Do you expect your host to use a professional cleaning service themselves? How will you exchange house keys? Iron out all these details before the swap. The key to a successful exchange is frequent and meaningful communication between the two families prior to the exchange. I always find that the more I communicate with the SWAT family prior to our exchange, the more I learn about their area and culture and the more fun it becomes when we actually are in their home. Typically, the biggest hurdle to home exchange are the dates of the exchange. The more flexible you can be regarding your dates of travel, the more likely that you will find a home exchange partner. Europeans typically travel in July and August. 
If you wish to exchange with a European family, your availability to travel during July or August will, will result in many more offers to exchange with you. Likewise, Australians frequently travel during December. If you wish to visit Australia or New Zealand, your chances of finding a home exchange down under rises dramatically if you can travel in December. After you and the other family have agreed upon all the details of your home exchange, it's time to make travel arrangements. Most of the time, this means buying airfare for your trip. Most families tell the other family that they are completely committed to the exchange and will be purchasing airfare. Once airfare is purchased, you are committed to the home exchange. Here's a big tip. When looking for an exchange, many first-time home swappers prioritize the size and the amenities of the home in the area that they desire to travel. This is a mistake. It is more important to find a home that is near the area you would like to see or has direct transportation from the home to your area of interest. Ask your exchange partners about particulars of the public transportation or access to your areas of interest. Of course, it is fun to live in a fancy home for a week or two, but in reality, you'll be spending the majority of your time seeing the sights and returning the home at night to eat and sleep. Location is much more important than the amenities. Start your search early for a home exchange. Naturally, a first time home exchange isn't the most suitable option for a last second getaway. Start planning swaps three to six months prior to the exchange for international travel, sometimes even up to nine months in advance. If there's a major event going on, you definitely want to start planning well in advance. In my experience, coordinating exchange dates between two parties is the most difficult aspect of arranging any home exchange. Everyone is busy with work and family. The earlier you start the process, the more time you'll have to coordinate your vacation dates, and the more likely you'll have a successful home exchange partner. You can swap cars too. It is very common to swap cars. Whatever suits the exchange partners. However, some people who live in major cities with extensive public transportation may not even own a car. But swapping cars, which provides cost savings to those who would otherwise need to rent a vehicle, is common in the home exchange community. Most American insurance companies accept that you will allow someone else to drive your car and will maintain insurance coverage on the car. However, in some countries, for example Ireland, an additional policy rider is required for coverage of additional drivers. Every driver, you and them, will need an international driver's license. International driver's license can be obtained easily at auto clubs. It's important to say that home exchange is not just for home owners. Renters can participate in home exchanges too, very easily. And various forms of ownership like co-ops or condos work well as long as you've cleared the exchange with the necessary parties. Check with your landlord or co-op board or read your lease to see if you're permitted to rent your place out to strangers, which in most cases constitutes a temporary sublet. Home swapping is safe. Home swapping is by and large a safe way to arrange any kind of vacation stay. Homeexchange.com and homelink.com are both celebrating their 60th anniversaries as communities for home exchange. In all the years that I've been exchanging homes, approximately 15 times, I've never had a single problem. Every time we return to our home, it is cleaner than when we left it. My family and I have become fast friends with most of the families that we have exchanged with. We correspond with them still and visit them if we are back in their area. In the end, the other family is staying in your home and you are staying in theirs. So mutual trust is absolutely fundamental. When you do return to your home, after your vacation, expect that the dishes, the towels, silverware, and bedding will be in different places because the other family will not remember exactly where you like to put things. You can easily put it all back into the original places when you are home after your lovely home swap holiday. If you are worried about valuables or special items, simply put them away in a closet or an attic, or even ask a neighbor or your relative to keep them for you while you are away. Personally, I find it easiest to simply ask your exchange partners to not touch certain particular items, and they never have. Home exchange is a safe, economical, and deeper travel experience. It is a way to feel at home while traveling because you have all the comforts of a home and everything that a home can offer while you're away. <laughs>